as you can see, I am fishing with Lunkers TV today out of the Hello Kitty boat. It is just him and I, John and Perrick, uh, stayed, they stayed at the MTB house. And I think they might be doing a pond challenge later. Not exactly sure, but I have to head back to Nebraska on Saturday and then I'm going to Florida on Sunday. Um, and then tomorrow we're actually going paintballing. So depending on when I can actually edit this video and get it up, we are hosting a meetup at Fun on the Run in Fort Worth, Texas uh, from three to seven on Friday, the 3rd of March, I believe. Um, so hopefully you guys are seeing this before then. If not, and you missed out, I apologize. It will be filmed, so hopefully hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be kind of fun. We're gonna do a meetup, we're gonna buy pizza for everybody that shows up. We're gonna play paintball against our subscribers. So that's kind of what we have going on later this week. But for now, we are taking the Hello Kitty boat, I think two hours, two and a half hours, somewhere in Texas. I don't know, Rob's got some juice spot that he's gonna take us to, and uh, hopefully we catch a big in. What's going on, flare fishing fam? We made it to the lake after about three to three and a half hours of driving, Rob and I. Rob is parking the truck right now. Before we get started fishing, these new dope flare hats are now in stock. I'll drop the link down below. Really would appreciate it if you guys if you guys need a fishing hat, you guys wanna look, look cool on the water. If you guys like this design, um, I'd really appreciate if you went and picked one up. It, it supports me, helps me do what I do. You know, I'm going to Florida next week and I'm traveling around trying to bring you guys some different content. So if you like one, go go ahead and go go pick one up. I've got t-shirts, hoodies, I got long sleeves coming, some buffs, a lot of cool things coming, but hopefully Rob and I are gonna be able to catch some, some bass because you know this is one of the last times I'm actually gonna be able to fish, uh, bass fish that is, for probably a week or two. I'm um, going to Florida and then just doing going hunting again and just doing a lot of a lot of fun things. Um, but today we're we're looking for some big girls. I'm hoping to hoping to catch a big in today. Not not much uh, introduction here. You guys know what I'm starting with. Roberto is throwing the yeah, Gary Gary special, right? Yeah. I don't really know what the Gary special is. So if you want to know what the Gary special is, I guess you have to check out his channel. But it looks something like that. We are fishing a lake we've never been to. So of course I start out with a confidence bait. I guess that's kind of what I'm going with. Is you know you guys see me throw this bait religiously and it may or may not work but at least it'll kind of give me a starting spot see if these fish are active we're fishing kind of like a grass line kind of submerged grass looking for the the active fish so we're after today we don't want to we don't want to slow down with the senkos and bottom baits quite yet we want to test the water to see if we can get a reaction bite going oh 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 did you see oh that? yeah Oh, yeah, that was crazy. Followed it all the way up to the boat. And I saw it just come swipe that. Yeah, that that's that scared me for a second. I just, <laughs> I just got real excited. He completely swiped it. He didn't. I'm not giving up on the chatter yet. I just want to see. Since you just had one, there's gonna be more. So I'll see if they just want something different or if there's only one of them. So Rob and I are kind of, we're kind of struggling at the moment. The wind died down. Bluebird skies. Cold front. It's just not not the greatest conditions for catching bass so you guys know the kind of the go-to for when it gets tough is a sanko so we kind of pulled up shallow we're still throwing a little swim bait i'm gonna try throwing this kind of around the grass there's a lot of a lot of grass mats you guys can see over here we're thinking we're thinking the fish maybe be just kind of tucked up the, in there since that grass holds the holds heat pretty well that you know it got cold overnight in the last two nights they might be tucked up in this grass a little bit more than we might have previously expected so we're going to kind of explore flip and pitch shallow maybe a little bit of trees see if we can just pull off a couple fish you know we're not sure if the big ones are going to be up shallow or not or if they're just the babies we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna find out so rob and i we've been out here for a little while not not a whole lot going on still haven't caught any fish we just moved down to another part of the lake where we're gonna we're gonna kind of give it a shot. I think the water temperature is about a degree warmer, which believe it or not, little things like that, little details, uh, they sometimes can make a difference. So we're gonna, he's getting kind of rigged up down here. We're gonna change up tactics a little bit and uh, see if we can actually catch any fish on this side of the lake. Um, we've talked about going to another lake. Not sure if we're gonna end up going to another lake or not, but we're gonna see for right now, we're gonna fish this end of the lake and if it's no good, then we're gonna, we're probably gonna head out and go to another spot.
Oh. Is that you? Yep, yep. Yep. There we go, baby. Woo! Come here, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, son. That dude just smoked that sand cow. Skunk is out of the boat for me. Rob caught one, I caught one. Might have, we might have stumbled upon the juice here. I'm not I'm not sure, but a little feisty to date that Sanko. See ya, Charles. All right, well, that's that. It went from two hours of no fish to two minutes and two fish. That's fishing though, guys. You can't ever give up. What is that John B thing? Keep fishing, never stop. It's kind of kind of what's going on here. You just, you can't give up on this stuff. We've changed locations on the lake. They're on the same baits though. But I think we're around fish. Now. But I think we're like, it's pretty apparent that we're around fish. And they're active. I mean, that dude just hit my Sanko like a topwater frog. It's not like they're being finicky or anything. I just don't think we were around the fish. The fish were not in the area of the lake we started at. Kind of moved moved to a different place and, oh, well, there you go. I I it's my first fish. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. I think that's a giant. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, he's taking me to the grass. I'm going to grass. I'm going to grass. Oh, it's a good fish. That's a good one. It's a good fish, dude. I'm just, I'm just trying to keep his head up. Yeah, I'll just grab. You have to reach down and grab a full stop. Fish. Yeah, it is. Oh, he's fishing. Oh, oh. Ah, no. Oh, my. Oh. All he said was, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Oh. That was textbook. Damn. That was textbook. What you absolutely do not I was like, want to jump, happen. Jump, 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 jump. Oh. Well. Just kidding about the juices flowing, though. I'll tell you what. Rob's catching fish. We're doing big things over here, boys. Wow. That was that was literally just. I could have just slowed that down and just. I, I, I kept saying, don't jump, don't, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. That was a that was a solid three and a half. Four, I was three, gonna say I would guess probably right around four. That was a good. Four. That was a so good bad. fish. Damn. Well, folks, I was uh, actually doing YouTube live. Whoa. As I break his rods, I was doing YouTube live for the first time, filming Rob for 25 minutes and uh, he ended up catching a fish. We're going back to the Guggen house. I know the fishing wasn't that great. If you wanna see better fishing catches, go to his channel, cause he caught a lot more fish and I'm not gonna show his catches. Uh, he, he caught a lot of fish. I didn't, I, I, I kinda struggled today, but I'm headed back to the Guggen house to uh, hang out with John B and Perrick and Rob. So I'm gonna try to film some of that, maybe make it a little bit inter interesting, you know, maybe harass Perrick, um, you know, torture the kid, I don't know. Maybe do some like challenge videos or something with them tonight. Not really sure what's going on. We gotta drive like two and a half hours back back to the Guggen house though. So, hope you guys enjoyed the fishing part. Enjoy whatever the rest of the video is. Tomorrow. We got a slushy. We got a slushy. Let's roll fishes. You gonna entertain them? Yeah, I'll entertain. You'll make sure people okay. won't uh, Yeah, they're gonna go play some paintball. We're still waiting on Perrick. Um, I'm gonna entertain the crowd. It's probably gonna go really awful, but I'll do my best to kind of chill with everybody who is not playing paintball. That's John B. John B's playing for the first time. You excited? Hello. This, why is it so tight? Is it supposed to be so tight? All right. I kind of get nervous with John. Not as nervous as Peric with guns, but John B's right up there. Well, with actual guns, I'm pretty decent. Not terrible, not like the best, but pretty decent. I'll give someone $10 if they hit him in the face during the match, no, no, right? No, no. Face, no, no. face shot, 10 bucks. No, no. All right, we got, we got some pizza. Rob's got some pizza. You got one? How you doing? Did you get shot? Uh, yeah, I did. You got, you got, got it right shot. in the hand. Right in the, again, what's up with you and hand shots? So we've been at the meetup for like seven and a half hours and uh, Big Nose Bassin decided to show up after he got out of the hospital actually. Not sure why he's in the hospital. Hey, let me, let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. Oh man. Oh, that hurt, did it hurt? The numbing, cry? the numbing shot hurt. No, I, I didn't cry. Caught myself in a window. The first lettuce said, ha, ha. can we get a lettuce count in the top right corner? <laughs> Ding! Lettuce. So we got lettuce right there. Shout out to, uh, what's your name? Jordan. Jordan. Awesome. Subscribe to my channel, Bass and Lemon. Oh, Bass and Lemon. <laughs> Bass and Lemon. I like that. All right. So we got we got lettuce for Perrick, and then I got the Texas Junior Anglers Smallest <laughs> Fish Award. For me, this is, this is my... 
this is my prize for the night is catching the smallest fish in 2012 a pair got lettuce so uh so far the meetup meetup's going pretty good we got vlog on vlog action actually going on right now it's pretty pretty intense yeah in the neck <laughs> rob oh, got me rob did that yeah oh that's brutal yeah that is brutal yeah first shot in like five seconds of the first of the first match oh man yeah i guess the first time i've ever done it. he's done it once or twice so. yeah it's fine Probably I don't think I'm going to because of my yeah. arm. Can I get a quick picture, man? Yeah. We're just out here signing shirts. Signing shirts. I am back in the Guggen house. This video was all over the place. I went fishing and I sucked at it. And then we went paintballing. And you guys didn't see me paintball, but on the Guggen Squad channel, I'll link it down below. Rob was wearing the GoPro the entire time, um, shooting subscribers and whatnot. And I filmed just a little bit of the... Uh, the meetup, just to kind of show you guys what we did. What we did was we took the money donated um, to us through the super chat feature on YouTube and bought pizza for everybody. We bought, you know, 30 pizzas for everybody at the meetup. Um, that's what we wanted to do to kind of give back for this time around. We're going to be doing different things. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this little uh, this little paintball session. I don't know how this lighting in here. Probably probably garbage. But like I said, I'm back in the Guggen House. I'm actually headed to Nebraska tomorrow morning. I'm waking up around 2:30 driving to Nebraska, um, getting just some stuff done throughout the day, packing my bags again, and then waking up at like 4 a.m. on Sunday and going to Florida with Rob. So, gonna be an exciting, exciting, what are you doing, Chris? What's, what's Chris's outdoor adventures doing this weekend? Well, Eric made me miss my flight. You missed your flight? Mm hmm I'm supposed to be in Cincinnati right now. Oh, well that's no good. Yeah, so Chris, Chris and Perrick are going to Austin. John is, I think, staying here with Rob for the day. Rob, Rob and I are flying to t Florida on Sunday, so not sure what John's doing. But that's kind of an update on the old Guggen squad. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this this bad fishing video. But again, I, this is re the reason why I upload this type of stuff is just because it's behind the scenes. I feel like it's kind of interesting. You know, I don't like posting the same stuff over and over and over. This is a little bit different. So thank you guys so much for watching, and peace. What, what do we got here? Hey, Farrick, I got you some lettuce. Thanks, man. Oh, That wow. wasn't reenacted at all. Okay, first of all, steady cam, steady. It's steady, steady as can be. Not, that wasn't reenacted at all. Thanks, man. The first lettuce set. Can we get a lettuce count in the top right corner?